Hey what's going on everybody and welcome to this video. So in today's video we'll see how to lock a DB library layout in Bloom locked content form. So let's say you have a special content that you don't want to give to everyone but only to your newsletter subscribers then that's where the Bloom's locked content form comes in and uh, actually the Bloom locked content form does not allow you to render short codes. If you, uh, if you enter short code in the place of content in the Bloom locked content form it's only going to show you the short code uh, but not the actual content of that short code. So with this hack we will be able to render that short code easily. So let's just get started with this video. Alright, so first you'll have to open up the first link in the description of this video to get to this article and this article is all you need uh, and you have to follow this article to get what we want. So from here, let's first copy this code from here and make sure that you have installed Bloom plugin on your website and then go to plugins and then plugin editor. Uh, if you don't have this option in your in your WordPress website, then you can use a file manager plugin. Or you can go to the filezilla and connect it with your website so okay so let's go to the plugin plugin editor and then select the bloom plugin from here and then open up the bloom.php and then scroll to the line 4847 okay so let's just find it and it is right over here this line and now we have to replace this with this code from here so let's just place it right over here and then save the changes or simply update the file and then let's go back to the article and then copy this code from here so to use this code first you will have to make sure that you have installed a DV child team on your website if you haven't just click on this download DV child team button and it will take you to this page and this is also a working example of what we are trying to achieve in this video so if you click on this button it's going to show you this form and this form and once you enter your details and then click on submit button it's going to show you this layout from the DV library to download the child theme that we have to install onto our website so let's just click on it and uh, simply download it to your computer and then you will be able to install it to your site the way you install any theme onto your WordPress website alright so once you have the child theme installed on your website just copy this code from here by clicking right over here then go to your uh, your WordPress dashboard then go to appearance theme editor and then open up the functions.php file and then paste the code right over here just like that now with this code it will provide you a short code for every DV layout in your DV library so let's just update the file and then go to DV library and as you can see right over here we have the short code for our library layout and using this short code we can insert this library layout anywhere on our website so so now what we have to do is go to the plume and then here we need to create a new opt-in then select the logged content give it a name then select your email provider and then select your account and then select your email list and then click on this next button to design your opt-in and from here you will be able to select any template so uh, let's just go with this one and then next customize and then here you will be able to uh, design your opt-in form so you can do whatever you like here and I'll just go ahead and generate the short code and then let's just copy this code from here okay and then save and exit so now we have the short code of this form so let's just go to let's go and create a new page let's just enable the visual builder here and uh, let's build from scratch and then add a text module here and then paste that short code that we just copied and uh, here we go the bloom locked content form now let's go to the dashboard and then go to DV library and then copy this short code from here and then paste it in the place of content like that and now let's just uh, publish this page and now let's exit the visual builder 
so now here we have this form right over here and if I enter my email here and click on this button I will be subscribed to the newsletter and then I will have the access to the special content so let's just click on the subscribe button and that's it as you can see now I have subscribed to the newsletter and now I have this DV layout being shown right over here so that's how easy it is to provide special content only to your newsletter subscribers with the blooms logged content form and this special hack so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you and uh, i'll meet you in my next video till then have a great day peace out